Uh, hi everybody. So what do I have open here? I have a blank new presentation in PowerPoint open here. I have saved it actually. It's called custom colors with you tools and it's got nothing else. It's just a blank slide as you would see when you launch PowerPoint by default. So what are we going to do? We are going to play with custom colors. What exactly are custom colors? To understand what custom colors are, let's go and look at what are the other color options that PowerPoint provides. If I select this placeholder or if I select a shape or anything which can have a fill or a text color, you could get those options. I could go to the home tab and choose the font color option. And you see these are the theme colors. These are standard colors. These are more colors which I could go and choose a color I want. And this is an eyedropper option. So you don't see an option here called custom colors. And that's exactly what we're going to add to this presentation. You can actually add custom colors to your own theme and make sure that it stays in the theme and it's based or part of every presentation that you create from that theme. And that's exactly what the intention is. Typically, if you wanted to add custom colors, you would go and code it, code the XML that's behind the scenes in a PowerPoint file and create custom colors. And that's not everybody's cup of tea. So how do you make it easier? You use U-Tools, a PowerPoint add-in, that makes it very, very simple. So U-Tools has got many, many options and we're not going to look at any of them other than the option to create custom colors for this video. So I go and select the theme colors option and choose edit theme colors. And again, you have so many options here, but I'm just going to use one option here which says custom colors that you see in this floating theme color palette preview window. And there you get it. So you look at these empty swatches here, 50 of them, and on 50 of them, you can actually store 50 custom colors that you need all the time. To add your first custom color, click on an empty swatch, and then go and play with your colors over there. I'm just going to go and play with the hue over here, hue saturation luminosities. Let's see, I'll get this one. And that's a nice gray, but I want to use a color set. Okay, so that's a nice medium green, so I'm going to choose that color. It's already put there, and you have an option here called color name. I'm just going to go and type, say, custom green. To add the next color, click on a second empty swatch over there, and I'm just going to go and play around with the hue over here. It's 102, and I'm going to make it 132, and have another green. There you go. Sorry for the wrong spelling. And another swatch there, and I'm going to call it 162. That's another. So I have four colors now and I think that's enough for now. Uh, you, you can go and choose all 50 colors there if you want, but that's entirely up to you. The process to do that is same if you want to do it for four colors or all 50. The magic happens when you go and click the option that says update theme over here. If you want to go and look at what the XML code that uh, Utools is generating, you can actually go and click this button. I'll show you the code that is generated and it's going to add to the theme file. Uh, I don't want to do that for now. I'm just going to close this window and just say update theme. It's going to modify and reapply to the existing theme. Uh, if this is something you don't want to do, maybe you should save a copy of a presentation and then do so, but I'm okay with doing it because I've just created a blank presentation. And you can see it's generating the code there. It's done. Theme updated successfully. Let's go and shut this interface down and go and see if custom colors are generated. Go back to the home tab, font color, and there you can see our custom colors are generated. And these show up everywhere 
you have the color palette so if you just go to the shape fill as well the same custom colors are going to be there so you're they are part of the theme and you have access to them all the time as long as you make sure that you save your presentation and that's it have fun creating custom colors with utools explore more concepts at indesign.com indesign make better presentations fast